Hey guys, I'm John from the Mishimoto Garage. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more information on the 6.4 liter Power Stroke diesel. Today, we're here to install the Mishimoto Direct Fit Coolant Filtration Kit for the 2008 to 2010 6.4 liter Power Stroke. Let's get started on the install. Tools needed for install include eight millimeter socket, quarter drive ratchet, five millimeter Allen key, 13 millimeter socket, three eighths drive ratchet, 20 millimeter wrench, flathead screwdriver, needle nose pliers, two vice grips for hoses, hose cutter, Teflon tape, and coolant. Install time is about 45 minutes and install difficulty is a two out of five. Wrap the threads for both ball valves with Teflon tape in the direction that the valve will thread into the housing. Thread the ball valves into the housing and tighten them with a 20 millimeter wrench until they are seated properly. Be careful not to over torque the valves. Attach the mounting bracket to the housing using the included three five millimeter Allen bolts. Attach the wicks filter to the housing, but be sure not to over tighten. Remove the two 13 millimeter nuts underneath your truck on the passenger side of the frame. Next, remove the two 13 millimeter bolts that connect to the shield on the bottom of the frame rail. Now, you wanna slide the mounting bracket between the frame rail and the shield. Tighten the two 13 millimeter bolts you removed earlier. Tighten the two 13 millimeter nuts on the upper side of the frame rail. Attach a worm gear clamp to the shorter of the two hoses. Attach this shorter hose to the in inlet marked on your filter housing. Attach a worm gear clamp to the second longer hose. Attach this longer hose to the outlet marked out on your filter housing. Route the lines towards the front of your truck and up through the passenger side inner wheel well. Detach the negative terminals from the two batteries using an eight millimeter socket. Disconnect the mass airflow sensor and the filter flow sensor. Remove the tree clip holding the electrical lines to the air box. Using a flathead screwdriver, loosen the worm gear clamp. Now you can go ahead and remove the air box. Now you should be able to see the silicone lines you ran earlier. Reach down and pull them up. Now we wanna cut the lower heater line so we can splice into it. Here we're using two hose clamp vice grips to help to reduce the amount of coolant we lose during the install. If you're not using hose clamp vice grips, we recommend draining a small amount of coolant out of the radiator. Next, slide a worm gear clamp onto the shorter Mishimoto silicone line and connect the T-fitting to it. Make sure you tighten down the worm gear clamp with the flathead screwdriver. Install the T-fitting onto the lower heater line that you just cut. Make sure that you have worm gear clamps already on the hose before installing the fitting. Tighten these worm gear clamps with a flathead screwdriver. Next, we want to route the second longer Mishimoto silicone line towards the front of your truck. Using the two hose clamp vice grips, clamp down on the small coolant overflow line coming out of your radiator. Using your hose cutters, Cut the small coolant overflow line. Attach a T-fitting to the Mishimoto hose, but make sure you have a worm gear clamp already on the hose. Now take the overflow hose you cut and insert the T-fitting into both ends. Be sure that you have worm gear clamps already attached to either side of the hose. Now tighten down all your worm gear clamps with a flathead screwdriver. Next, place the air box back into the truck. Using your flathead screwdriver, tighten down the worm gear clamp to make a snug fit. Be sure to reconnect all the electrical connections and the one tree clip. Using an eight millimeter socket, reconnect both negative terminals on the batteries. Be sure to check your coolant reservoir and top it off if you need to. Now that you've installed your brand new Mishimoto coolant filtration kit, double check to make sure that all your connections are tight and take your truck for a test drive. Mishimoto recommends changing the coolant filter after the first month, three months, and then every year after that, depending on driving conditions. Because each engine was cast differently, there will be a different amount of debris for each truck. After this install, click subscribe. 